Good morning guys, welcome to another juicy vlog. This is a start of a series of very special videos. We're currently in Southampton. Our cruise ship is right in front of us here outside this window. Massive. It's massive and we're so excited to show you guys what we're up to in this next coming weeks. We're about to get on board. Uh, we've got everything we need. Yes. Uh, people are queuing behind us to get on so we need to actually go and do an IQ. We do. Let's go. We're on board. We are. And we're off to get some lunch. It's not a photo, mate. <laughs> sorry, it's not sorry. Photo. I was standing there really still. <laughs> If you guys have been watching the channel for maybe two years, Lucy and I, our first holiday together ever proper was on holiday. this ship. Yes. Proper holiday, like abroad. Um, we've, we were going to get lunch, but we've just heard an announcement. Our cabins are ready. So we're going to go to the cabins now. We can show you guys. Go check it out. This ship has had a refurb. Like, this is the first cruise since its refurb. It's so lucky. So, it's really um, good timing. Yeah, it is. Go, 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 go. So the next video on the channel is going to be a, a ship tour. tour. Yes. I'm going to show you guys exactly where we are for two weeks. on P&O like this is my third is it your third yeah because you haven't done P&O before that I don't think um they've given us five percent off everything we spend which is really cool so you've got like a loyalty thing however many cruises you go and you get points for how many nights they are and then like it adds up and then now we've got five percent off so that's pretty exciting none of our cases actually have arrived yet I've got the one that I'm out my hand luggage but the actual case is on here so we're waiting for that but then we're gonna go for lunch first so we're just unpacking everything now and hilarious. <laughs> Look what I accidentally packed from home. It's so I funny. thought it was one of my white shirts. Pillowcase from home. Perfect. Um, it's like you're really fussy on pillowcases and you want to bring your own. Yeah, it's must have my own pillowcases home away from home. In about 20 minutes, actually about 10 minutes, we need to go <laughs> and do a lifeboat drill, which Classic. is basically, because we're obviously on a ship, safety is important. You have a life jacket in your room, one each, yes. and you have to all go down on the first day of any cruise. It's and they basically and like, they, a, like a, um, at school when you have like a fire alarm, like a drill. Yeah, and it? they like show you how to use your life jacket and stuff, just in case anything bad happens. The idea in this luggage map thing is that you put the luggage on it and don't let the dirty luggage go on my side of the bed. Oh, sorry about that. Set up a little workstation area to edit the vlogs in the morning. Yeah. Look out on the balcony. I'm so excited to be like editing the vlogs and to have like room service breakfast, like oh, delivered to the balcony. It's a dream. And then go up to the restaurant and have an actual breakfast. Yeah, it's a dream. We've got so many places, we shouldn't be thinking about like editing <gasps> vlogs and stuff. There's so many cool places to edit vlogs, especially when we're in some sunny locations. I, know. I don't think we've actually said where we're going on this cruise properly yet. Go on, you try and do it. No. Don't turn the camera around to me. You can no. try and say where we're going. You must know a few of them. No. Nope. So we're doing Madeira, Lisbon, Lanzarote, La Palma and Gran Canaria. So super excited. I feel like it's not a little place. bag. Get rid of that little bag. You bought a pillowcase with you, George. I think yeah, I think I'm alright. True. <laughs> been called for our lifeboat drill. Safety first everyone. So everyone got their life jackets ready oh, and a head covering. Yep. Oh. <laughs> no I haven't. I've got my hair burned. I think I'm going to have a head covering with us. This is just a drill. This is just a drill. Imagine if there's a real one at the same time. No don't say that. Thank you. Just make your way down there for a seat. There you go. Just make your way down there. Cheers. 
The signal that you heard a few moments ago was the general emergency signal. Life jacket drill's gone well so far. We're about to sail away from Southampton. Time for a first drink. Well deserved. Actually, you haven't done anything. Super, super happy guys to be away. It's my whole family on this holiday. Me, Lucy, my sister Jazz, you know Jazz if you've been watching the channel for a while. Mike, Emily, my mum and dad, and my grandparents. I've just had a text from our friends who are staying in the flat whilst we're away, and it just said, all good so far. The reason for that is they're a couple, but they currently both live at home with their parents. So they're kind of using this two weeks as an experiment period to stay in our flat. Um, so hopefully they'll still be in a relationship when they're home. It is, Half six. When does the time change? When we get to Madeira. Um, we got three days at sea. Our first stop is in Madeira. Um, so we're still on English time for now. We've literally just sailed away from Southampton. And guys, the weather already is insane. And we're still in Southampton. We're still in the UK. But it's sunny. I mean, we've still got a jacket on. How do you think the dogs are doing? Oh, the dogs. Oh my God. So my mum really, really didn't want to leave the dogs. But they've got friends staying at their house as well, looking after the dogs. Our dogs, to be honest, are fine with new people. So they'll be absolutely fine. So we're going to get ready for dinner in a little bit. We're just enjoying a drink. Lucy's already on the holiday cocktails. We may have also just had like burger and chips. Like just for Yeah, we just had a little snack. That, I swear on holiday, you just eat and eat and eat. <laughs> There, I think. Yeah, the fact that it's there, you're like, oh, shall I? Why wouldn't I? It's free. Yeah, welcome to the holiday vlogs, guys. Thanks so much for clicking on the channel, checking out so our videos. I'm excited to do this every day as well. Thanks again to PO, hooking we have us up. Every day, day, all day together as well. We normally have work That's in the so nice. Day. We've normally got so much going on ourselves separately. We're just together all the time. No arguments. dinner now guys and shirts a little bit creased won't lie what do you mean but this is i think it's like a cool kind of half casual look i've got my new shoes on which hopefully won't give me blisters so on cruise ships i don't know if any of you guys have been on them before but there are like four five six seven restaurants depending on the ship we're gonna go check out the main restaurant tonight. I am so hungry, we eat so much food on holiday. We already had a huge lunch and then a couple of snacks up at Sail Away with a few drinks. This is gonna be like a five course dinner, guys. I'm not complaining, like, I love food. Course number one, we've got crab and leek little pasties. Confession. This is perfect on a cruise because it's all like included so you can try loads of new stuff. We just had a lovely first meal. Had four courses after our burger earlier, which is probably not a good idea. Just in the theatre now with everyone, a new glass of wine, and about to watch a ventriloquist. Fan ventriloquist? Fun 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 <laughs> a, like a comedy Fun show. Just, just heading back to the room now, guys. It's now quarter to one UK time, and I'm shattered. George and the guys have just gone for a drink quickly and listened to some music. I don't know why I'm so tired. Uh, it's Australian day. Um, honestly, all these rooms and corridors look the same on a cruise ship. And I'm just trying to work out now. I have totally lost my sense of direction now. But um, I don't know how they're so awake, but equally I don't know why I'm so tired. I know it's late, but we haven't really done a huge amount today in terms of actual like physical anything. I just feel shattered. Maybe it's just because we've been traveling, but we haven't really. We've literally just like rolled into the car, been driven here stepped onto a ship and then now we're here this evening so i don't know why i'm so tired but i'm gonna get a nice sleep now I'm gonna start editing this video we're gonna get up early and do a bit more tomorrow morning and um, because we kind of still need to work out our timings and things um, for the editing and then uh, get up early order some room service breakfast and crack on with some more this is not going well i've just had to like cross sides to the other side of the ship because i was looking for the for my number went from one to the other and there was no one in between that i needed my number to be so I'm on the odd side, but I need to be on the even side. Ah, got it. Just gonna order now from here. You pop this on the back of your door uh, when you go to bed and they'll wake you up at any time you like from these times just here, what you fancy for breakfast. And then we're also gonna go for breakfast in the morning anyway with everyone else, but this is gonna be like editing fuel. So there's like all these drinks here, bakery stuff, there's a panini. I think George is gonna want this, the sausage and bacon panini, but I'll double check when he gets back a bit later on. 
Today we're going to show you around this cruise ship we're on for the next couple of weeks. It's a Vienna Ventura. It had a whole refurb a couple of weeks ago and we're the first passengers on it since it all got done. We were on this ship almost three years ago to the date. We've noticed a few changes and things that have um, sort of been modernised a little bit and we're also, for some of you guys that haven't even ever seen the original Ventura, we'll just show you around what there is to do and some places to eat and do stuff. As we are currently on the Atlantic Ocean, it is a little bit choppy today and the boat is moving so if you see me like this a bit on the video, it's like I'm okay, don't worry. And if George's camera works a little bit iffy then we've got a reason right. why. <laughs> so starting in the cabin, this is a balcony cabin, just stand a balcony um, and I'll show you the balcony first, that's probably the best, that's my favourite part of any cabin, is the balcony. It's very windy outside today, as I said it's only like the morning of our first day so we've not long left Southampton um, and we're not on particularly warm or calm waters yet. But on the balcony here, and you can see our lovely view. So as part of this cabin you get some desk space and um, we're using that to upload our video at the moment which is struggling, the internet isn't doing too well today but I guess it's just because we're at sea and then maybe when we get into port it's going to be better, fingers crossed. Um, you get a nice big bed, I don't know what size the bed is but it's huge and um, obviously bedside table at the side, nice big mirror to make the room look nice and light and then just like a tea and coffee making station here. This TV gives you an idea of sort of where you are in terms of um, sort of navigation um, on our cruise, sort of a really wrong, really wrong game. I feel really drunk actually. I'm not drunk, I haven't drunk today yet. You've also got a little wardrobe space here. They come with some hangers, but we also bring our own just because we have quite a few things we like to hang up before more nights and things. So we've spread all our clothes up there, space up the top here and down there. And then in here is, oh, that's what's been banging. The safe door, right safe and then like storage in here for more clothes this is up the lift area and there's loads of different ones of these across the ship so there's like they all look the same basically it's easy to get lost but sort of once you've been on there for a few days you should be able to work your way around this is a buffet area you get all your drinks again there's a few different areas of these around the ship there's like four of the same sort of thing um, and you can get the same food in each one but there's just loads of places to sit This is one of the first pools. There's four pools in the ship. This is the number one. And this is like a kiddie pool at the back of the ship, so you literally got the view of the where you can pay extra money and then have a bit more of a special experience. This is one of them here, it's called Sindhu and it's like uh, Asian fusion. And I think we're gonna go one of the nights, which is super exciting. Havana is one of the other sort of nightclub areas that's open really late and there's like shows on here every evening. It's getting a little bit jealous guys, but Lucy getting all the screen time, so. I'm gonna do this bit. We're in the shop section now. Um, I'm gonna go and treat myself to a little Rolex. Nice. They've got some nice watches on board. So this is called the atrium, which is like the central bit of the ship. There's loads of shops selling jewelry, clothes, stuff for formal nights. Uh, now you have to pay to film in the shop, 20 pounds. <laughs> Another good thing about buying stuff on a cruise ship is that it's like an airport, duty free, 20% off everything. On formal nights, this is the section with the best atmosphere. There's people all here dressed up. They hand out free drinks like champagne, wine. There's music, everyone's kind of mingling. It's a nice place to walk around in the evenings. I love waking up to this view every so single morning. Nice. We're about to go meet everyone for breakfast. This is how good P&O are, right? They've given us. Oh, it looks kind of gross with the manky bits left. Chocolate covered strawberries to wake up to. How lovely. So nice. And I never get tired 
of waking up to this view. going over the Bay of Biscay which is like the rockiest part of the so trip rocky. and there there are some crazy crazy high waves Mike just tried to open the door oh my god you actually want to open the door <laughs> I, could, I was gonna do it Em if you wanted to go there whoa uh, maybe not <laughs> to the atrium um, to do some editing up and some Instagram photos. You're probably wondering why we're not having a relaxing holiday. We are, we like doing that. It is we are. relaxing, isn't it? Until we get having more to, to like Spain or whatever, that's when it's gonna get warmer. It's getting warm already, the sun's yes. coming out, but this is like the rockiest bit, as we already said. Yeah. Um, I quite like it though, I love watching the big waves. Yeah. I think it's so exciting, I'm it's obsessed great. with water. Um, why are all our life jackets on the floor? <laughs> Is this a sign that we need to put them on, or should we be worried? Just finding our photos like from last guys. night. Where are they? Here's the lads. There he is. Yeah. When you're on holiday, it's nice to soak up the culture. We found a little small boutique coffee shop on the ship. Just in Havana, we've had um, a couple of coffees and um, we're just watching yesterday's video showing you guys what we've done and we've just uploaded it. The internet is not great here, so we're actually a day behind on our uploads because normally it takes what 40 minutes to upload a, a vlog. And yesterday we pressed upload and it stayed on one percent for about an hour, so we cancelled it, started again, and it sort of does every couple of hours it goes up a few percent. It's very, very slow, so it's taken a long time to upload this one, but it is now uh, going to be fit live tonight, and then this one's going to be the night after that. I think because a lot of people use the internet in the day on the cruises, it's very hard to get onto it and, up and upload. But um, but overnight, while this one was uploading, it went much quicker because obviously no one else is on the internet. So I think we're kind of getting into a routine now, and it's a little bit easier to be uploading our videos. And when we say bad guys, if you're not a vlogger like us, if you're not trying to upload a five gig YouTube video to the internet, then you're probably gonna be fine. Like, yeah. just for scrolling through Facebook and Twitter and everything, the internet on the ship is actually pretty good, considering, considering we're at sea ocean, yeah. and it's satellite internet. Um, so for everyday normal use, it's actually okay. We wanted a bit of a change of scenery, so we're head ah, so rocky. We're heading to the um, top deck now, uh, and we're gonna sit on a sun lounger, a little bit, um, like a cover, on right. one of the pools, and um, we're gonna head up there and finish off his editing, and maybe get a slice of pizza, because we haven't really eaten much in the last couple of days. We just spent a little bit of time here on the kind of indoor outdoor pool because we're in the middle of the ocean and right now they cover up on this pool i'll show you they like cover up the pool area um but when it's really sunny and hot when we're near a land this comes off so we've just been spending a little bit of time editing up the ship tour video posting to instagram took about half an hour to post a photo to instagram and i'm about to start this which is um gary vaynerchuk's new book crushing it all about building brands on social media and stuff all the stuff i'm well into now we both want to read this book at the same time do you think it's possible if you read a chapter and then swap to me is yeah, that going to be hard work bookmarks. i think it can work we just need two bookmarks and then we're both on the same level of the book at the same time yeah. and we can like discuss it if you don't follow work. gary he's known as gary v on youtube if you don't follow him he's super inspiring good, guy yeah. Bit full on at first, but once yeah. you get underneath, I that, don't like people that are like. So I'm being that person interrupting you now, but like, <laughs> like, ugh, like in your face, in your face he's like that. But now I'm like obsessed with him and everything he says. So give him a chance. I know his advice is his advice is just really practical and real. And if you're into social media, look, he's even got the logos Instagram, Snapchat. If you're into building brands and stuff on social media. He's doing Check it. it out. We've just popped back to the cabin before going for afternoon tea. And I have been on, I think this is my sixth cruise, and it's crazy. never been this choppy. 
Like, and it's I, not that bad, but I think it gets a lot worse. But for me, this is the worst I've experienced. When I say worst, it's fine. You, you feel it rock a bit, but... The water is the most insane ah, colour. Oh. And as the wave breaks, it gives this lovely aqua colour. And it's like bright blue. I literally, I just love water. It's how, I think I said this earlier, but... Water and fire water? are fascinating. It's like, oh, it's, oh, it's so nice. Look at it. It's like rainbow, look. have to say though now we're miles away from Southampton much more towards Spain um, it's getting warmer it's a lot warmer afternoon tea done and dusted I ate four cakes how many cakes did you eat one plenty <laughs> Let's have a quick look around the shops. You don't need another watch. That is definitely wonky. <laughs> there we go. First formal night, guys. We are dressed up. <coughs> it's very tight. Um, haven't worn the shirt for two years, though, so I was still going to it, so I was pretty pleased about that. Lucy's wearing a lovely, lovely dress. I've gone for the... Cla Keeps going wonky. I've gone for the classic kind of... Uh, what do you call this? Waistcoat. Or... Need my shoes on, nearly left without my shoes. Also, these just got randomly delivered to our cabin. So it's Marco, how would you say? Yeah, white. Yeah, white. Spent here today for formal night, five courses. Um, this isn't actually part of his menu. I went outside the box and got something on the normal menu, but it's goat's cheese. Um, what was on, Mike, what was on Marco's menu? Uh, trout. Trout. Yeah, nice. So this is trout with baby shrimps. Is it? They're tiny. Oh, Second course is cauliflower soup with truffle and cheese. It sounds really bad, it's lovely. Mm. Palette cleanser, passion fruit sorbet. Main course, beef wellington. Dessert time, chocolate tart, Oreo ice cream, Oreo ice cream or Oreo as Lucy makes me say. I've got like apple like tart to turn with some. Here we come, I think. Thank you, guys. Savage. Oh, you stopped. Jazz was just dancing oh. to this is awful it, music. Is it one up? Is it one up? Um, yeah. Dance. Dance. Is that way? Is that way? <laughs> Back in the cabin now, guys. We had a great night. Piano also delivered us this fruit bowl. So we can have that for breakfast in the morning. Maybe on the balcony tomorrow should be the ah. first proper nice sunny day with some should good we weather. Get room service breakfast sorted? Yeah. So they leave you, I think we told you in the last one, they leave you a little card in your room at night and if you, you want breakfast to. delivered to your room in the morning, you can uh, put down what you want and they bring it to you. Would you like any sort of juice? Orange juice, please. Okay. Uh, coffee would be good, of course. I want to have an almond croissant. Get me one of those, yeah. That'd be, nice. That'd be perfect. If I put two dashes together, I think I want 11. Just put times two. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's too late. Right, guys, we're going to get some sleep. We'll see you in the morning when that arrives. Welcome to Madeira. This is our first stop on this cruise so far and it's lovely. I've never been here before. The weather's I nice. I didn't expect it to be like this. It's nice and warm. It's got a kind of Monte Carlo feel yes. to it actually. I need to take my jumper off. I don't know why. I was freezing on the aircon in the ship and now I've got here. I'm like sweating. Then we're going to have a wander around and then we've got a fun activity planned yes. in a bit. We're apparently going Stay very tuned. quick. Oh, can I say? No, don't ruin it. Don't oh. ruin it. First stop this morning, of course. Coffee. coffee. We've just been sat here having our drinks and a band has literally set up right in front of us and it's really cool. They're just gonna start playing now. Got the camera no, out. Can't we just do a nice walk? <laughs> Happy holiday! Yay! <laughs> 
actually such a lovely place here. It's one of the places that I've never been before, Madeira. Well, pigeons everywhere. After we've done our secret activity that we're going to show you in a second, we're going to then try and find the fish market and then there's a little shop that me and Em want to go to and pop by some little bits, like some plates and stuff for the house. It's really nice, like hand-painted little dishes and things that look really cute. Massive pineapple here. Look at that. Oh, cool gin. So what we're about to do, we need to go up in those cable cars. Emma and Mike have done this before. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, really good. You just sit in a wicker basket and get pushed down a hill. It's great. <laughs> well done. Amazing. Alan Wicker, I guess. <laughs> So we got some bad news. The things we wanted to go on apparently close at one and it's now five past one. We're still gonna get the cable car up to the top of the mountain anyway, just to see if they can fit us in. Hey. Well, I think we're going up in the world, guys. So as you know, guys, we couldn't bring the drone on this trip because no. P&O, don't let any drones on their ship. So this is the most aerial shot we're gonna get. We're gonna try and make this look like some drone footage. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Is that where you go down? So these are the things we were hoping to come down in but we think it's closed. However, there are people queuing up, so we're not too sure. Okay, I think we're getting on it. Um, Emily so if we go three and three, yeah? spoke to the guy and offered to buy him a lamb lunch for Easter, and it's Easter Sunday, and that means that we might be skipping the queue and getting in front and actually getting to go on this, so fingers crossed. Is that Apparently, we're about to do one of the world's seven coolest Yeah, let's see the photos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <All right>. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that was so fun, guys. If so you ever to come it. to Madeira, make sure you do that. So funny. Hello. 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 How much punch the cable? The top. To the top. In the front. Big glass. Oh yeah, this side. Can we stand? Thank you. Yeah, yeah struggling a little bit because obviously we're used to eating every hour of every yeah. day at the moment um, so we haven't eaten for a good three hours now. Yeah, more than that, we haven't eaten since like half eight. Yeah. Actually fair enough, we're quite hungry, we need to find some food. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Just picked up some cable snacks. Cable snacks. As we bought a two-way ticket for the cable car thinking that the boggers would be open, we've now got a taxi back up to the cable car for that, um, and we're going to go back down, head into town and see what's open. But it is Easter Sunday today, so things are shutting pretty early. Um, we're going to see what's there and hopefully find some Madeira cake. Oh, give some Christmas, Madeira. Christmas. Just shows, guys, don't believe everything you read. There's a little sign at the bottom of the cable car saying toboggan closed. The miserable woman at the kiosk said it was closed. We went anyway, and we got on. So this is the cheapest um, cable car that you can get. On the other side, look at the pimped up version. VIP baby. Look inside it. Drink oh, no way. Little music player thing oh on this side. Oh my god, that's insane. The bar is open, guys. It looks like a CD player, like you have like, when you get nicked from your car. Oh, yeah. So we're just walking around the town in Madeira. I'm not sure how like big Madeira is, but this seems to be the main sort of town. Yeah. It's actually really nice. The sun has kind of come out. It's better than it was. It's, yeah. it's, it's warm, though, I'll tell it? you it's warm. Yeah. We're just gonna have to wander around, maybe get some food. Mike's chasing it's the three o'clock now. We were gonna go and have lunch on the ship, but we thought, might as well make the most of it, staying out here. I feel like I'm in a nature documentary. On my right is 
amazing day in Madeira today, guys. We loved every minute of it. It is now, what's the time? Uh, late. It's late, it's like one in the morning. And our day has just started. It has, we're, we're starting work now, we're gonna edit this vlog. So I'm just working out tomorrow's cruise excursion. That's right. I hope you're enjoying these holiday vlogs, guys. We've got a sick day coming up tomorrow. Oh, we can't As wait. always, we won't ruin it, but this could be for us probably possibly the highlight of the trip. I think so, but I yeah. think we're probably gonna say that every day. <laughs> so we got back on the ship earlier from Madeira, we had a nice lunch, and then what did we do? The time just flies by on cruise ships. If you've never been on a cruise and you think, what do I do on sea days when I'm not in ports and stuff? Don't worry about it, the time just flies. Like, let us know if you find the same if you've been on a cruise. Oh yeah, Lucy's gotta cover up her trousers tomorrow because- Cover up my trousers! No. Make sure you cover, cover up, up your trousers. Cover up her legs because we're going to some Basically, mm. the excursion says long trousers must be worn. You can guess what the excursion is. Oh yeah, and it's not for like a religious reason, is it? No. It's like for a practical reason. A practical reason, yeah. Yeah, and then we went to see a Whitney Houston show tonight, which was not the real Whitney Houston, obviously. It was a <laughs> oh, really, really good uh, tribute act. It was good, actually. I really enjoyed it. And guys, on this ship, it's amazing. We've met an amazing young guy. He's he... starting up YouTube now, isn't he? He's got a channel. We need to find yeah, his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, he came up to us. He saw we had a camera, saw we were vlogging. I mean, the camera setup we're using now isn't very... We get a lot of looks. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of huge. You guys have seen it with the big gorilla pod and the microphone on top and whatever. So he saw that. He came home and said, hey, what's your channel? You guys are YouTubers. And we've chatted to him most days now on the trip. We saw him out in Madeira earlier. And him and his dad came over to us in the show earlier and um, basically asked us, he wants to buy a camera for his channel. And we were just like giving him advice and like chatting. They basically sell loads of cameras and stuff here um, on the ship, obviously tax free. So it's a good time to buy them. Um, yeah. And we were like giving him advice on what to buy. He might be getting the G7X Mark II, which is the other one that we, we use, as you guys he know. He didn't know if he wanted like a big camera with a mic and stuff. Yeah. We kind of recommended starting off with like a smaller one but he wanted to flip out screen so he can see himself yeah. um he's got instagram stuff if we see him tomorrow and he's happy to be on the channel yes we'll um we'll get, him, we'll get him on if him and his dad are happy to do that but it's so so cool meeting people who love youtube yes we are absolutely loving making these videos oh it's so nice being to do it every day as well it isn't really it? is like having the chance to just put something out there and it's so nice like knowing that our next video is tomorrow and again and yeah. again and again and knowing also that we can look back on these couple of weeks and, and just see it all documented cool stuff yeah and thanks genuinely so much to everyone who watches these videos because yeah. you guys make it so worth it for us. We we absolutely love it. We're gonna end off here, guys. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for thanks for I watching this video. I think you've been video. watching like too many shows. You're like, good evening, I know. ladies. Every and show. Gentlemen. Welcome to another video. Yeah. This please, evening we are joined please by. Please give George and Lucy a round of applause as they leave the stage. Thank you. Uh, plenty oh, yeah, more entertainment that's really tomorrow night. That people keep doing on this cruise. The announcer keeps saying. And so basically the act left the stage a while ago that people are clapping da 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 oh, yeah. and as they leave the stage another round of applause they've and it's like already. they've left yeah. stop doing that small complaint quite annoying anyway Good morning guys, welcome to another juicy vlog. Welcome to We're being held back, hold La it. Palma. Mike's forgot. Well, no, we, Mike's not forgotten anything. We've forgotten Mike. <laughs> I can see Mike. Mike this morning oh, has lost geez. his cruise card. And to be able to get off the ship you need a cruise card. And we, we yeah, happen, so. we have five minutes until we need to get on a coach. We should go. We're going off into the mountains. Beautiful day here today in La Palma. We're doing something really exciting involving off-roading. Yeah man, so that's nice why we're wearing this. I'm boiling hot. But we, we have to wear hoodies. <laughs> Do we? And jeans. Well, we have to cover ourselves I'm not up, don't we? Or a jean. <laughs> Fine. Um, right, today's gonna be sick, guys. Welcome to the vlog. vehicles for the morning. Ready team. currently sat in a buggy, we're about to go off-roading into the mountains and the jungle, we're so excited. It's like driving in Prague again on the other side of the road, I'm a little bit nervous, but... Yeah. Because the first and the first get to tie 
Yeah. You might try to put the first and you put the third. Fine. Yeah. So it's still, then the yeah. movie stops. Yeah. Mm? I recommend for you most of the time the second. Yeah. And if you need extra help to restart your driving, so you can use the handbrake, yeah. the hydraulic system. Fine. Mm. Is it up use now? Use it and no. goes down by itself. You see, make, make a try and they leave it, goes down it by itself. Right, cool. Mm. This is the best trip so of a holiday so far. Time some proper off-roading now. like a photo shoot opportunity amazing. the view here is amazing that's all the sea down there the cruise ship is just <laughs> you're supposed to get in it and you're turning sorry the cruise everyone. ship is just we're over there somewhere we're covered in mud yeah. just had a little instagram photo shoot so cool. um if you haven't got us on instagram check it out we've been uploading loads of holiday photos and you get a bit of a sneak preview for what we're doing the day before you do. the vlogs come the day after we're uploading uh, to our stories we're heading back now through the mountains and then onto a normal road back down okay. so so glad we did this Guys, this is the company who have done this for us today. So thank you guys. Ignore my hair, I've got helmet hair. That was so good. That, I think we all agreed that was the highlight of the Unreal. holiday so far. And probably one of the best things I've ever done. Yes, so, so good. We're going to head back to the uh, ship now, hit up a bit of buffet lunch, uh, and then head back out and go to Empshire Beach and have a bit of an explore. Look at this doggy. Oh, hello little fella. Yeah. And this is the first proper hot, hot sunny day yes. of the holiday. So, so nice. gonna get some lunch, as we just said, burn. and go yeah. and get some sun at the beach. No. Next vlog is all uploaded, guys. Not gonna ruin it. Hope you're enjoying the daily videos. Oh, look at this. This is unreal. This view is amazing. Quick stop in the cabin, lunch, then beach. Instagram photo shoot done. 
Got the Instagram lens on the camera, guys. The uh, 25mm, it's actually a 50mm if you're interested. Oh, yeah. it's we, really use, close up. we use the Micro Four Thirds system on the Panasonic GH5. Okay. Sorry that it's super, super close up, but I can't actually zoom it out any further. This is a great B roll lens. I know, and um, watch some shows this evening, get dressed up as per usual. I love that on cruises when you can go out in the evenings and get all dressed up after having quite a chilled day. Not buggies, but normally chilled day. Good morning, guys. Morning, guys. We're in Gran Canaria today. We're just heading out on our excursion. It's currently half eight in the morning. We had breakfast and edited yesterday's video, and we're just gonna head up and meet everyone now and get on the coach. As usual, running late. As per. Typical. Typical. So we've booked this tour, I don't actually know what it does, but it goes all around the island and sees loads of different stuff. Oh, Mike's just said sand dunes. We're seeing some sand dunes. Yeah, sand dunes. This place is so nice. This is amazing. Right in front of us are some sand dunes, and I've never actually seen sand dunes before. I think I have at West Wittering Beach. No, not like this. This is crazy. Sun's out, the weather's good. Grand Canaria. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. I don't know if we'd said where we are yet. Wow. You can see where the snakes have been here. Look in the sand. We could spend a lot longer there, couldn't we? Definitely. That was so nice, so warm today as well, and the sun is really shining. They were saying on the um, coach that this is like their winter, and that their coldest weather's like 18, 19, 20, and it's like crazy, isn't it? Because that's like warm for us. Should we move here? Huh? Shall we move here? It does feel quite touristy here though, I must say. It's busier. It? Yeah. It's busier than the other places that we've They're been. They're a bit more relaxed, the other places. But it's nice to see some contrast. Yes, the others that's were like, true. nothing was going on, but yeah. here there's lots going on. Same as when we're in the Caribbean, to be fair, like some places are really built up, and some were like tiny little islands. That there wasn't really much going on. Just went past an avocado plantation. I think we need to move here. Yeah. We've just driven up to the top of this hill. It's called Puerto Rico. Careful, careful. Thank you. Oh, my God. look at where George is. Nearly fell in there. <laughs> um, the view's amazing, and it's um. It's like a harbour and a beach and stuff. Do you want to stop walking near me? Oh <laughs> Wish we had the drone and this would have been perfect. After we finish this, it's finishing about half one, I think. We're going to go back onto the ship and get some food. But I don't know if we're going to then come back out again and find a beach like we did yesterday. Or we could go to the top deck and do a bit of sunbathing, go in the pool. There's a tropical party on the top deck tonight, which is like music, dancing, drinking. Hopefully be nice and warm. And as you guys know, we've teamed up with P&O to get the internet on this um, holiday. And we've been sending them some of our photos. Um, and they featured us a few times on their Instagram page. So go check out P&O Cruises on Instagram. And then here I am. I'm gonna be putting a few more on there in the next few days. I've never seen terrain like this before that is so rocky. It's kind of reminding me of what Las Vegas might be like. I've never been, but it's, it's amazing terrain. Yeah, it's befriended the tour, guys. Again. Are you taking a picture? I'm videoing. <laughs> Do you like it, Em? Yeah, it's well nice actually. We've come to a marina now on our next stop. It's not quite Brighton Marina, is it? <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty similar. Half the town here is less than 10 years old. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't hear that, I wasn't listening. I think we're gonna stop now and get some food. I haven't even had my morning coffee yet. Yeah, you have. You had a it's half eleven, it's fine. 
Yeah, but I didn't enjoy that. Oh, oh there's a squash bag. Well, hopefully, going to get an iced coffee. Uh, yeah, iced Ice coffee, please. Yeah. Iced coffees have arrived. These look good. They've got cream and everything. Quick iced coffee review from Gran Canaria. 8.5 out of 10. Strong. As Lucy and I uploaded some sick Instagram photos from this holiday, we're going to try and get some new followers. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Hi. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Hi, follow me on Instagram. Do some B roll and me and Lucy will both look back and smile at you like. <laughs> Emily's learning the vlog vocabulary and she's learned the word b-roll which is like the little montage slow-mo clips ketchup, in between roll. these clips and she <laughs> and now she's That's obsessed Mike and I've decided we're gonna go halves on a boat actually thirds with our other mate Ash we're gonna go for something probably similar to this <laughs> Something similar to that. We can keep it here. We don't want to keep it in the UK because we only get like a day of sun in the UK. So we're going to go and try and do a deal with one of the uh, <laughs> yacht owners. I can't imagine ever getting tired of this view. Who, me? No, no, not you. Just, just move over there. This view. Hours later now, guys, we're heading down to the beach. Just walking down these kind of side streets. It's so nice just being in a new place. Kind of reminds me of Amsterdam slightly. Some of the little smaller streets, slightly bigger. Guys, great day at the beach, great day in Gran Canera. Feel like I'm already tanned. Feel like my skin's gone brown already. We're now going to the gym for 20 minutes, half hour. I'll show you the chips, gym. Don't think we've shown you that yet. And then up to top deck, sail away party. Oh yeah. yeah. This ship's gym's really good because when you're um, working out at the front here, it looks out onto sea. Halfway through the workout, guys, did some spin on the bike, and I got told off because apparently only men use these spin bikes for classes. There's definitely a class going on right now. I know, so I got I got kicked off. Luckily, I was just finished. It's and so I, hot in here, guys. It's about 22 degrees outside now. You can see is. how red I am. I've got beads of sweat on my back and yeah. all over my face. Did a little chest so workout hot. with the weights. Going to continue that now. MC has also joined us. Right. Mike and Food Fitness on Instagram. Go follow him. What? Is there an underscore in there? Mike underscore Not food Mike and, and fitness. Mike and food and fitness. I'll give him a follow. Mike, bit of food, bit of fitness. <laughs> We've just started to move. I'm now looking pretty sunburned from the beach. I didn't realise I was burning earlier. Mike and Lucy are over here getting some drinks for the Sailor party. I'm gonna go join them. I've asked for a mock pina colada. I don't even know if they can do that. If they do, I'm gonna go for that. Mike said, if they don't do that, what do you want? I said, pina colada, mate. Let's not mess about. Went swimming. Lisa went swimming. I told you. Just started your pina colada for you, mate. Yes, with, with or without rum. Without. Without. Yeah, I can do it. A mock pina colada. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping that they couldn't. <laughs> if the pool wasn't filled up when we were coming over the Atlantic because it was a bit choppy, they filled it up and it's not very warm at all. I put my toe in it. Oh, really? But as I'd been at the gym, I was so hot, it actually cooled me down, so I just jumped straight under. Yeah. And now I'm everyone, sunburned. everyone's in their evening wear now, and we're just at the bowl in a swimming costume, soaking wet, getting a cocktail. That's the way to do I'm still in my gym clothes. Look how burnt now. You are well burnt. I can't yeah. touch it. Yeah. It'll now. go brown in like two days. Come Thank you, mate. I just hope he hasn't charged me as Cheers. much without the album. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cheers. Nice. It's a orange, uh, what is it? Orange? Citrus sangria. Oh, yeah. So it's white wine, 
vodka, triple sec. I don't know what that is. Orange juice and lemonade. Nice. By the way, we are reading your comments on the vlogs. So glad you guys have been enjoying them. We're going to reply to a load of them later tonight. We've had a comment from someone who saw one of the last vlogs who wants to see the buffet. We haven't filmed the buffet yet. We, um, we tend not to have dinner there, but we, we do have lunches there, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. Like, next time we have lunch, we'll yeah, film it. We'll film. As long as we're allowed to, we'll film all the food that's on offer in the buffet because there's a huge selection. You're coming on the ship at some point, so we'll let you know what's on there. And there's so many people that are commenting saying, like, oh, I'm on the ship in like a week's time or like next year. And it's very like, all right, right. community. Some Someone said, I'm getting on the ship when you get off, so roll on that. Thanks a lot. I don't want to go home. So we're sailing away now, guys. This is honestly one of the best drinks I've had. No, this is honestly one of my favourite things about cruising. Sailing away, waking up. Hi, Em. How are you doing? Good. Good. With live music. Waking up in a new place every single morning. If you've never done a cruise before and you're thinking, I don't know if it's for me, don't know if I'd like it. I honestly don't know. Other than the odd bit of choppy season, I honestly don't know what there is not to like. It's so many holidays in one, you get to see loads of places. There's the whole life on the ship. The ship is like the song, Yeah. The ship is like a five star hotel and you get to see all these incredible places. It's amazing. Ordered some room service drinks. There's no tongs. I'm using my hands, sorry. And uh, we bought a bottle of gin on with us. You can have a bottle per um, suitcase. So, bit of gin. And also, there was 10 tonic cans for 10 pounds, <laughs> which I think is pretty good. It's got so many cans of tonic here. Lovely, lovely stuff. <laughs> Just before a dinner. We had a lovely dinner tonight and then went to go see a show, a bit of comedy, and then went for a bit of a party on the deck, which was really nice. And thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. Um, we hope you enjoyed coming along with us in Gran Canaria. Tomorrow we're in Lanzarote, which we're super excited about, and again doing something really exciting there, um, another activity we've got planned. We really hope you're enjoying these holiday uh, videos, and we're loving making them, genuinely loving it. And it's really nice sort of being together as a family and um, spending time together as well, because obviously we've normally got work and things, so it's nice sort of spending every day together and we really are loving it good morning guys Lads are off to you today. this morning we are riding a camel up a volcano <laughs> windy up here a little bit cold surprisingly i thought it'd be warm because of the rocks apparently some of these rocks though get to 80 degrees um this is the last canary island we're on today so we're going to make it a good one we're having a wander around here they're going to show us how hot this stuff is how volcanic it is yeah <laughs> and then um, no i don't know anything lucy's more, much more scientific than me then we're going to get a camel ride to the top of one of these peaks Isn't it? Like, like directly, <laughs> directly up here. They also filmed one of the Star Wars films here.
Uh, this is the barbecue. This is the kitchen of the restaurant. Uh, chicken, fish, meat, whatever. You order at the restaurant, it's cooked with the heat coming from the volcano. Five meter deep. The temperature at the end is only 80 degrees Celsius. But the temperature, one meter and a half deep is 250 degrees, and here on the top is about 200 degrees. And the question is, why the temperature is higher up than down? Because one meter and a half deep is one pipe that goes like this, another pipe like this. If you look, you see one crown, and the pipes goes like this. I've never seen a barbecue like this. It's insane. It's amazing. They're saying it's like 200 degrees at the top, where well, the meat is, because of the much is bringing the heat. You can feel the heat if you tip your head just over there. It like burns your face. All the food in this restaurant is cooked from that from the volcano. Yeah. Wow. We just arrived at the camels. Oh, there's a step there. And we're about to we're about to ride camels around the volcano. Sat on a camel. <laughs> this is our camel for today. <laughs> I'm really laughing. Yeah. Sorry, other oh, camel it's it's sat on the ground at the moment. Oh it's really we're not moving. allowed to touch yet. No, we cannot touch our camel. Is this normal? As George is so heavy, I've had a weight put next to me to make me the same weight as you. <laughs> How's it done? Yep. Thank you. It's good camel, lady camel. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it. It's very calm. Yeah, yeah. See, see, see. Vamos. I asked okay. Thank you. Ah, Camel journey. It's hilarious. so bumpy. It's hilarious. Moving around so much. It's so funny. We're in like a big row. We're on the back as well. These guys in front of us, our camel keeps like going into their hair. So we're quite lucky that we don't have a camel right behind us. But this is, this is half so half an hour funny. ride. My back is killing me already. It's the quickest way to get around out here in the volcanoes. <laughs> Highlight of the trip. <laughs> that was buggies. Yeah, that was insane. I didn't expect it to be that rocky. I know. When you see people ride camels, it kind of goes up and down, but you were kind of like just moving all over the place. We've driven out now to some grape, not really fields, but each one of those things you just saw is a little wall with a grape plant in it and the wall's there to stop the wind from ruining the plants. We're going in now, we're going to do a little bit of wine tasting. You like that? Thank you. At a local, um, is it called a winery? And we're trying some wine. Very strong, isn't yeah. it? Oh, There's the boys. It's so funny. Comment on the video the other day said you wanted to see what was on offer in the buffet. So it's lunchtime, we've just got back on the ship. It's half past one. And oh, we're we've been trying to take the stairs. <laughs> we've been trying to take the stairs um, on this cruise as much as possible. It's obviously been eating loads. Oh my god, what are we on now? Eight. Eight. Oh, we're Nine. still not there. So we're going to try and film some of our lunch for you and show you what the buffet has to offer. It's been a really good food so far. There was a nice chicken curry yesterday with onion bhajis, my favourite. Salad. Other type of salad. Loads of different uh, types of food. And you get about 10 different pudding choices each day. Chilling by the pool now for a bit, guys. Editing up. Yes, 
today's vlog that you've already seen. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all the comments. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the daily vlogs. We even found a Facebook group talking about these videos earlier, so that was really cool. Lucy's gone off to chill in the hot tub for a bit. I'm editing the vlog, getting a few funny looks because I'm sat on a laptop while everyone else is like sunbathing. But I'd rather be doing this here than at desk, at home, or in some coffee shop. Just been to the gym, guys. Just because I didn't film it doesn't mean we didn't go. Okay, beautiful evening out here. The ship's a little bit more rocky now. We've just got ready for dinner and I fit into some jeans that I wore on our first cruise and I haven't worn them since for two years. White jeans. Is that a thing? Let me know in the comments if that's a thing. I don't know. Nine of us and also three bottles of wine, so thank you guys. Oh, that's so well. Thanks. That's so good. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. What's going on? This looks great. Just got back from another lovely dinner. I feel like I keep telling you all about how lovely my dinners have been. The, honestly, the food, this cruise. We've been on two cruises before and this is the best food we've ever had on a cruise ship. Don't you agree? Absolutely. It's so good. Like, I'm the menu, often it'll be just like um, meat, veg and potato, which is fine. But I found that was every night on a few cruises before. But this one is like loads of variety. So if you want that, have it. But there's also other stuff you can have and like everything I've had has been really good. So. So it's pretty rocky. You can probably hear the creaks from where the boat, uh, the boat's rocking. Um, for some reason, it's got a little bit rocky again, but that's fine. I quite like it. It kind of puts me to sleep a little bit. Um, we came back uh, after our dinner and watching a show this evening to a little envelope um, sticking out of our door. So one sec, let me open it. Super exciting, actually. So totally unexpected little um, letter here from Luke, who is the Senior Loyalty and Cruise Sales Manager. It says, Dear George and Lucy, I just wanted to drop you a message after seeing your fabulous videos on YouTube. It looks like you and the family are all having a great time on board and we'd like to do a little something special for you to make this holiday even more special, which is why I'd like to give you both and your family a meal in our Marco Pierre White restaurant, the Epicurean, on us. I have spoken to the restaurant manager, da 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 um, about the size of our party. Hope you enjoy the rest of your cruise and I hope to see you on the ship at some point. And there's a little meal voucher here that's got the restaurant, um, guest name, Lucy and George, obviously our surnames are, um, and travelling party, and the number of guests, nine complimentary cover charges, three bottles of house wine, and all, all for us. And it's really, really kind. So we can book that for um, one of the nights um, that we've got left on the cruise. We've got four nights left, which is really sad. But, um, and tomorrow night we're going to Sindhu, which is, so if I haven't explained this already, you get all like the buffet and all the restaurants and stuff are all inclusive. Um, but then there's like, is it four? Three or four? There's three or four, I think, um, restaurants where you can pay like a cover charge, like some's five pounds and then I think this one's like 30 pounds, I think, that he's given us, which is it's like the, the best one that you pay per person on top. And it's just like more of a special dining experience of like there's more courses and nicer food and things. And it's a bit more, um, like he said, more special. We're so excited. And tomorrow night we're actually planning to do Sindhu anyway, which is like the Asian-y sort of um, one, which will be good. And then this one is gonna be the other formal nights. So we've got two more formal nights out of the formal nights We've, uh, two more formal nights out of the four more nights we've got left. <laughs> Can I try and say that? Yeah. Two more four more nights out of the four more my nights we've got. Uh, <laughs> Anywho. My legs in shock. <laughs> George is off. Oh, we're flashing red. Speaking of red, again, George is awfully sunburnt, but like in the most random places. Can I show them a little bit of your arm? I look like Neapolitan ice you cream. You do. Basically. Look at that. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a sea day. Today is a bit more of a chilled vlog. We've got a whole day on board today. We're gonna to take you around with us, show you what we get up to on a sea day. Let's go. <laughs> Little key for breakfast this morning, which doesn't surprise me because it's half nine. And I think they stop serving breakfast at 10 on a sea day. This evening, guys, we're going to Sindhu, which is one of the posher restaurants. So we'll be able to show you what you get at one of the more expensive Cover charge there was. We seem to have a lot of admin. <laughs> Your swimming shorts are so noisy. We seem to have a lot of admin to do today. I don't. I don't know how this happened, and we've just got a very busy day planned. And um, we've had some breakfast, which is really nice. We've just finished um, editing our, our Grand Canaria video. Um, that's uploading now. But as it's a sea day, I think a load of people are buying internet, and it's very, very slow again. So hopefully, it's going to be on tonight. But it might be later than six o'clock. But we'll see. So now we're going to go to reception. We're going to book up our dining for the Epicurean, which again, in the last video, P and have kindly offered to uh, pay for all of our family to go uh, for this lovely meal, which will be not tonight, not the night after, but the one after that. We're hopefully booking it for. So we're going to go get that sorted now. And then we've got to sort out our um, disembarkation. 
sad. I know I'm getting really sad. We've got for uh, four nights left. Very sad. Anyway. Then we're gonna go and meet everyone else. They're up on the top deck. It's a nice sunny day today. Slightly windy. That's the end of the weather report. <laughs> Put our meal for the Epicurean at reception, sorted out our disembarkation, and we're gonna go upstairs now and meet everyone and get some lunch. Hey guys, not sure if this is the most flattering angle, but we've had some lunch, had a burger and chips round by the pool. For lunch on sea days, so I'm trying to get this saddle out. Currently on a bike. There we go. For lunch on sea days, there's so many options. You can go to the restaurant for lunch, you can go to the buffet, you can go to the poolside. There's two different poolside bits on this ship, the Ventura. So there's like a pizza, there's like a pizza oven section, and then there's like burgers and chips and that sort of thing. If you haven't worked out, I'm currently on an exercise. If you haven't worked out, I'm currently on a bike in the gym. Lucy's gone to chill in the hot tub, but I fancy getting a workout in. This is my fourth time so far in the gym on this holiday, which isn't bad, I don't think. I know people have different opinions about working out on holiday, but with all the food we're eating, I honestly need like a 15, 20 minute to half an hour workout. I said before I came I was gonna go every day, but it's kind of been every other day, which I think isn't too bad. And to be honest, it helps when you've got a view like this. Gym complete, and I sat in the sauna for 20 minutes after well, obviously couldn't film in there. It's a bit bright out here. So our second formal night tonight, I'm all ready. This is incredibly tight. That'll be coming undone soon as like photos are taken and dinner's done and stuff. Beautiful evening out there. As always, look at that. Lucy's getting ready, wearing a really nice dress. And tonight, as I said earlier, we're off to one of the more special restaurants, Sindhu. So we'll give you guys a full review of that and the food there. I don't even know what's on the menu. It's a really, really special restaurant. We're so excited to go. All dressed up now. We seem to be matching a little bit. Pearls on camels. Um, kind of goes. You're also about to walk into something. Again. We're five minutes early for once. Can you believe it? We're actually on time for something. Signature plate, please. Thank you. Thank you. We've had some papadoms, now I've been given a nice onion bhaji. I'm beginning to realise why this takes two hours. And <laughs> um, what did you go for? It is scallops with pink cauliflower. Very nice. What did we tell you? Mike, what have you got? It's, uh, it's like a posh fish and chips, oh. it's smoked paddle. Oh. Oh. oh, very nice. Prawns. I've got the prawns, they look good. <laughs> so I've got some prawns, um, some beef and some chicken tikka. It's like a burger on the side. What have yeah. you gone for, George? I can't remember. Flatbread. Thank you. Very nice. Good, you have some parata bread and then bread, okay? Can I take this one so you have more space? Thank you very much. So this is a signature dish. There's um, lamb, chicken and prawns with rice. And we've got some bread here and then some more bits coming. This is course number four. So along with Five? your main course, you will be having some extra rice, some lentil. Thank you. And vegetable curry, all compliments from our chef. Lovely. Please enjoy your meal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a palate cleanser now of rhubarb sorbet. Oh, Is it nice? So nice? Is it? Rose gold cutlery. Now to finish off, but it was in the course really with a coffee, yeah. Americana. So just go oh, and biscuits. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I just had a lovely meal. I took this dress off to go to the toilet because it has to be like buttoned down the front. Genuinely couldn't put it back on, and I, I had to like like lie on the bed and get George to like help me put it back on. I'm so full. How many courses was it? Six, seven? Or about six or seven? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ridiculous. Um, we're just heading to the theatre now. Oh, right. Seven, why are we on deck 
Yeah. I honestly feel like I've done so much this holiday and yeah. there's so much to do on the ship, isn't there? Yeah. Like if, days at sea, always something going on. If you're a younger couple like us and you're wondering if cruises is like for young people, 100%. There's such a mixture of ages on this ship. Yeah. Um, something so for everyone, different, honestly. Yeah. It and really it's not is. all old people genuinely. Like, there's obviously a fair few, yeah. but. Hopefully, you can see from the vlogs if you've been watching the previous videos that there's so much to do you can do. Oh, wait, one sec. <laughs> Exactly, example one, lots of things to do, listen to music, have a dance, have a drink. If you haven't seen the last few vlogs, go check them out, we've been doing all sorts. We've been riding off-road buggies, we've been on Zvogan down a hill, we rode a camel up a volcano. And also some nice chilled stuff as well, so yeah. it's like a real mix of different types of things to do. So there really is something for everyone. Yes. So if you're kind of deciding whether to book a cruise or not, we're in the formal area now. Yeah, definitely do it. And um, we're off in the theatre now for a bit of comedy. Um, we're going to have a quick photo in between. One, two, three. Yeah, that's really nice, guys. There you go. Thanks. We can do that, right? Oh, yeah, we're going to. We're on next. Thanks for listening, thanks for staying up late. If I've offended anybody with the comedy that I've done, from the bottom of my heart, I couldn't give a toss. Get on my Successful comedy show. Did you like it? Successful it. comedy <laughs> show. Hilarious. 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 Very funny. Very Peter funny. Piper. Georgie, match the seats. The what? The seats. Yeah, you you match the seats. I these seats with the suits, don't I? Very good. We're doing Alan. <laughs> Metropolis. Did we open? Yes. yes. Good morning guys, welcome to another juicy vlog and welcome to Lisbon. So we've just got off the ship this morning to so walk into Lisbon and in the morning booklet that you get every morning in your cabin, the horizon. it was a bit confusing because it says, do I need to take my passport to Lisbon? Yes. And there was a whole bit on pickpockets in Lisbon that said, try to avoid bringing things like passports with you. Yeah, so we, we, advise, we advise you don't bring a passport. Everyone else that we've has bought it and we don't. We don't know if we're going to be able to get back on because we just saw someone having their passport checked yes. who so was trying to get back on the ship. We're so the night in Lisbon. hopefully it's nice. We'll just find a hotel or something, or maybe buy an apartment. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Weather report cold, cloudy, careful. It's alright to be fair, it's, it's warmer, but it's like, it's fine. It's, it's not as good as we've had, but it's not as bad as it could. We just seen our grandparents on the ship and we were saying we always wave if we see people when we're around the ship. You, you would never, never do, do that at home. home. <laughs> if someone's in the living room and your, your partner's in the garden mowing the lawn, you don't, like, don't wave at them like crazy. As soon as you're on a cruise ship Every and you see so someone at the so other exciting. side of the pool that you know, so you're going like that, you're <laughs> waving like crazy for about 20 minutes, they're still waving up there. All the happy days. Reminded me of home, nice and rainy today in Lisbon. I, I think we're going to just wander around, maybe get coffee, keep inside as much as we can. So we've been here once before, about two years ago now, and it, I remember it wasn't great weather then either. It, had, it was a little bit warmer and it wasn't raining, but it still wasn't going up. Um, and last time we just kind of walked around the shops a bit, had a bit of lunch, um, and there's some really nice little shops here actually, so hopefully we'll do that sort of thing today. And luckily it's not like a sort of place where we wanted to go to a beach, so it's not like we're really missing out on much with it being raining. It's getting us used to um, the temperature at home a bit more, so it might be a bit easier when we get back. Okay, so because the ship's Wi-Fi was down last night, we've Hence come in. the gap in our daily videos, by the way, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, we means we couldn't upload last night. So we've come into Starbucks today to quickly upload the vlog. It's raining outside anyway, so we're going to grab coffee. However, Lucy is saying an hour and 50 minutes. Ah. She heard me shout loose to you, so she's written loose on here. <laughs> so it's now on 21%. It's on 1.2 upload speed, but it keeps going up and down. So it's saying about two hours left. We've been here about half an hour already. I don't want to spend our entire day in Lisbon in Starbucks, but if it means this video is going live, it's a good one. So it is what it is. So we're on coffee number two now. We've got a snack and we've also got a friend who's joined us. Even on. And the vlog is now on 69%. Uh, and we're trying to work out if the vlog upload is gonna 
um, the vlog is going to upload before the battery runs out on the Mac. So the plugs here are European plugs. We don't have any with us or adapters because it's a P&O ship, which is British. So we didn't really think this through. But if this runs out before the vlog's uploaded, it's a bit like game over. We've been here about an hour and a half already, and it's saying 45 minutes left. So we should be okay, but it's a bit of a gamble. 91% now. 13 minutes left. We've had more drinks and snacks. There. We've been chatting to Binky, who's our YouTube friend. We met her at the Cosmopolitan Influencer Awards in 2016, was that? Yeah. And um, we've sort of been friends since, and she's actually from Lisbon originally, and comes back here quite a lot, so we've been asking her like, what to do and stuff. Obviously it's rainy, and we haven't got that long hair, but it could be a YouTuber trip to Portugal in the books. How fun would that be? So we were warned in Lisbon about pickpocketers and stuff. We're now all wearing our bags on our front because... We basically just got pickpocketed. Well, nearly. Dad nearly. was on the phone. My dad was on the phone Sorry. and I saw some guy opening this zip here. He had his hands right inside his bag. And I like pushed his hands away. Luckily there's only an old bit of tissue in there, but... Some Prada tissues. <laughs> yeah, so... That's scary. If you come he had to his Lisbon. Hands. He was like this. Like with his hands right inside. Yeah, him. the warnings are, are real. That so. is scary. Give him his due, though. He's a true professional, I tell you. Yeah. And they're... we were just a massive crowd of people. Like it's open. It's not even when you're like yeah. in the back streets. We're just right went, in the main square. Went for it. It's it's crazy. It. So bags on the front on the now. Phone. Hand over there. Yeah. Literally, he picked his phone up and started doing it. So it's obviously he's yeah. been distracted by Textbook something. Textbook stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just got back on the shuttle bus because we're select with our tickets. It means that we get free shuttle buses. But if you're just like not on select like four pounds I think it is per way it's only like a 10 minute walk but it's nice getting the buses and you get to see sort of a bit more of the actual town did you like Lisbon oh you've been before haven't you as well liked it I liked a lot I keep thinking I've gone on my own but I wasn't with you but <laughs> I still can't believe that we got pickpocketed thank god that it wasn't your your bag it has the Mac the cameras the lenses in and the phones yeah, and the money yeah we used my dad's bag as a decoy uh, it's so scary and it's it's almost like because we were had we had our bags on our backs before and we weren't that worried because we'd heard and on the um, thing we said earlier on our horizon which is a ship's newspaper it says careful of pit pocketers we knew that it was bad we were like no no it'll be fine it's not until you actually see it happening see it with your own view. eyes yeah and then we're like actually we probably should put our bags on our backs if you're watching this and you're going to Lisbon please 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 put it on your front because they're so sneaky and if Mark was on his own and he was on the phone with his hood up he wouldn't have noticed that happen if anything had actually been taken so scary isn't it that young girl with her um, phone in her back pocket there was that Did she just saw some yeah, we just saw girl with her iPhone she had an iPhone 7 plus yeah. so it's bigger than this and her jeans ended there and it was like sticking out of really? her back pocket I wanted to, I wanted to take it, it and then tap on the shoulder and there it goes. Yeah, you go, punch you in the face if you've done that. <laughs> So just as we leave Lisbon, the sun has come up. We also stopped just to buy some perfume. We had some euros. This is the last stop of the cruise, guys. We had some euros left to use up. So we've stopped and bought some perfume at a nice discounted rate. Lucy's got a uh, Gucci Guilty. And it only came into the shop today, so I'm the first person to buy it. Yeah, and I got a Hugo Boss one yes. that used up the rest of our euros, which is lovely. Our ship leaves in five minutes. Four minutes. Let's go, let's we go. We love let's cutting go, it go. fine, don't we? Yeah, Making we the do. most of each country. Once again, Emily and Mike waving like crazy because they've seen us. And my mum. There she is. <laughs> I just had a heart attack. We just walked up to the line to get back onto the ship and there was someone checking passports. We just walked on like, here's our cruise cars. Hopefully you don't need them. We were fine, thank God. But that could have been really bad. Just got back to the ship. And of course, our daily canapes from p and these look pretty good today sailing away from lisbon now and i didn't see this earlier coming in but there's a huge bridge and there's this like christ statue here let me show you properly cold 
freezing. The next port is Southampton, guys, which is super sad, but we've still got a few more vlogs to come before we're back home. We've had the best time though, haven't we? Genuinely. Yeah. Wake up. Got these. Very nice. And I also got this perfume Gucci Guilty it smells so good and they said that they um they couldn't scan it because it, uh, it only came into the shop today while well, Susie's been getting ready I went to the gym quickly and then the sauna and we're just getting ready we're going for a buffet dinner tonight which is nice it's the first one we've done we're going to the buffet tonight so we're gonna let you guys know what is on offer there what we choose this is the aftershave I got Hugo Boss dot it's got the most unoriginal name they're normally like something like French or something that sounds really good this French. is called Dark Blue. Hugo Boss Dark Blue. Anyway, I've actually already sprayed it, but then I was like, I want to show these guys on the vlog what I got. An extra lucky spray. Each night on the buffet, it's a different like theme, like a different type of food. Uh, tonight's Portuguese night. I don't know what Portuguese food is, do you? No, I don't actually. I think it's like chicken and stuff. Gonna make some G&T before we go out. Here you go. Here you go. Here, here you go. There you go. Thank you, brilliant. Oh yes, please. Guys, we just got back. We had a really nice night. Lucy and I went for a drink at the bar after the entertainment. Do you know what we had? A tap water. Yes. We actually had two each. So pushing the boat out on this holiday. I just want to say we haven't really spoken about the entertainment on the ship much in these videos, mainly because we just can't film it. Obviously, if you go to the theatre, you can't film it. If you watch some of the shows in the bars, you can't really film it. But the entertainment has been so so good on this ship. There's been comedians. We've had Whitney Houston, Paul McCartney, loads and loads of good stuff. So the entertainment is top notch. The time is currently 2.30 a.m. Everyone's in bed. They went to bed about midnight. Normally we're like tired at that time too. Tonight we stayed out and had a few tap waters. Tomorrow's a sea day. What are we doing tomorrow? <gasps> Epicurean is tomorrow. So the really, really nice fancy restaurant tomorrow night. And it's also the final formal night and the second to last night on the cruise and third to last day. So it's pretty sad really, but we've had a great time. And I've loved like the variety of different things we've done. So like we've really chilled out quite a lot and also like done a load of activities. So it's been such a nice sort of mix. So we've really enjoyed ourselves and I'm really sad, but I can't be sad that I always do this on holiday. The last few days I'm like really sad, but really I should be making the most of them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today. What are our plans for tomorrow in the day? If you've come here from um, finding us through sort of searching for something uh, to do with cruising or the holidays or the places we've been, then please don't forget to subscribe. Good morning guys, welcome to the second to last day of the holiday. We are home tomorrow. We've had such a good time. I can't believe we've driven off-road buggies in La Palma. We are properly off-road now guys. <laughs> we've had a toboggan ride in Madeira. <laughs> We rode a camel up a volcano. It's good camel, lady camel. Yes, yeah. oh, it. it's very calm. Yeah, yeah. Off a real camel journey. Yeah. It's so bumpy, it's hilarious. Moving around so much. <laughs> it's the quickest way to get around out here in the volcanoes. We've had some insane food, including last night at the Epicurean. Final formal night, and we're off to the Epicurean tonight. It should are. be really nice. Thanks again, Luca Pino, for arranging this meal for us. Yes, we saw him earlier, had a nice chat, and yeah. we sort of uh, met each other, which is so great. It's lovely, lovely to meet you. Glad you're enjoying the videos. We skipped lunch today, so we'd be hungry for this meal, and that's a big deal on a cruise ship. So, absolutely. So super excited. We're so excited. This is the like poshest restaurant I think they have. Yeah, Marco Pierre White. There's a restaurant. cover charge for this restaurant. Let's go! This uh, as our appetizer, we've just ordered our, our remains. She said something about a 
What did you say it was? It's a Bloody Mary sorbet on a stick, so it's got like um, tomato sauce and Tabasco and stuff. Quite spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Jazz, ready? This ham is five years old and it's been cured for five years and it's the most expensive one. Fed on acorns, herbs and roots. Fed on acorns, herbs and roots. And both Jazz and I are having it with like cheese and olives and stuff. It looks so good. In a, in a bone. Yeah, what is it? Bone, yeah, bone canoe they call it. Bone what is canoe. it? This is ox cheek served in a bone canoe. We've ordered 28 day ribeye steak. 28 day what? Ribeye steak. Cured, is it cured? No, that was the no, ham. That was the starter. Hung. 28 day hung ribeye steak for me. <laughs> and they carve it at the table. And ha it's for two, it's isn't it? We and it's for two, yeah. So the pre-dessert before the real dessert, white chocolate and raspberry. No, black currant, oh. I just said it. White chocolate and raspberry. What is it? Black currant and white chocolate. Yeah, it's nice. What is it? Let's eat it. All right. It's nice. Um, sorbet, it. that's it. Oh. Don't bite it. No, you do bite it. No. Mm. Mm. First, we need to melt the butter. Yeah. Oh no, it fell out. <laughs> <laughs> it's too delicate to pick up. Yeah. Candy floss cone and a milk chocolate truffle. This has been such a good meal. I've just about got this much room left to eat this. Overall, opinion? Really good actually, I enjoyed that. Very special. Um, you could tell it was one up from Sindhu as well. Sindhu was lovely, but it was a bit more special that the whole experience. Favourite course, steak, very good steak. A lot of flavour. I don't really have a bad word to say about the whole thing, really. I know the restaurants and the crews are so good anyway, but genuinely would recommend giving these a go because it's just kind of like another level. Like the restaurant food's amazing, but probably couldn't have that like sort of um, like richness and quality every night because it'd be a bit much. But yeah. it's perfect just for like one or two nights on the cruise. It's really nice. And right now we're going to watch Mike play table tennis in a, in a ship tournament. <laughs> We're going to play a game now. Is it called deck coins? Yep. And I don't know how to play. You get a wooden stick and you push something across. I mean, it's so warm and uh, warm and sunny outside. We're back in Southampton tomorrow, and I thought it'd be colder, but it's still lovely. Sun shining. We're going to play a game, and we don't know what we're doing. You know guys in life, all good things come to an end. We are at the end of our cruise, we're packing away. We've had a nice chill day today, we just actually watched The Greatest Showman in the theatre, which was really good. I did sleep through about 75% mm, of it, but... We're just packing now, then we're gonna have one little last swim in the hot tubs and go for some dinner swim on our last night. <laughs> swim in the hot tubs, yeah. <laughs> it's our last night tonight. We're gonna have some dinner and just chill with the family. We've had the best, best holiday. Thanks so much for watching all these videos. Um, of course, if you just joined the channel from these videos, the videos carry on when we get home. I've got loads more plans coming up in the future where we wanna go, places we wanna see. So we're actually gonna to spin to tomorrow now. You can join us when we're on our way home. So we're back in Southampton. I've gained a hat and it is a miserable, miserable day, guys. We're back. I think we got in at about three in the morning because I was actually awake. Um, I heard the boat like reversing and stuff. But here we are, it's a grey sky. I'm back in jeans and a jacket. And here we are. Guys, welcome to Southampton. There's still time for one last breakfast. One good thing about doing Southampton to Southampton is that we're already home. We don't have to fly anywhere now. We've just got a quick drive, quick drive, hour, hour drive with Barry, and then we'll be home. And 
just like that guys an hour later we are home that is the quickest journey in the world that is like usually it's you finish your holiday it's not, a whole hour and you're like it's the quickest journey in the whole yeah but holiday. usually you finish your holiday and then you've got when we went to barbados for example we oh that was like how long was that yeah we, li we left the ship at what 10 in the morning and we didn't get back until our time 6 a.m the next morning yeah the next it was like morning because you do your right? cruise and then you then you get off the ship that takes about an hour and then, and then you, you, and then you have like, like an eight hour hours. flight and then, no, it's like, yeah, eight hour flight. We waited at the airport for about six hours before. Do you remember yeah. that? And we sat at that bloody restaurant. So that is the benefit of going from Southampton. It is so easy. So now we're just going to unpack. We've actually got a few more cruise vlogs to edit. The ones you've seen previously on the channel. If you haven't seen them, go back, check them out. And obviously the whole idea was to do like videos the day after they uploaded, but internet on the ship was down for what, 72 hours. So we were on it. And then for the last like few days we couldn't upload because literally the internet wasn't on and it, it would come in sort of maybe like twice a day it would come back live but it would be like upload speed of what like one megabyte so it was just awful so there was no chance we could have uploaded as it kept cutting out so that's why you're getting a nice chunk of videos now but you'd obviously have already seen them we're going to do a quick little shop as well now much to george's delight i literally just want to get into bed and edit some videos and check up on some emails and stuff if like. we literally <sighs> smash out little i need to go to tesco's as well i'm hungry though I just had breakfast, but I'm hungry. I know. You're used to eating The amount you eat. And if you're new to these videos, if you've just started watching us from the cruise vlogs, then welcome to our home. This is our flat. We'll show you around later. There's a flat tour on the channel if you're interested in that. That's so funny. Um, You've got a lot of new subscribers since going on the cruise. We do. A lot of people from sort of Facebook groups and P&O and yeah. people on board the ship and stuff. So hi to you guys if you're watching. Welcome. We upload three, four videos a week. We've just got home from doing our food shop and it was a big one. I'll show you some of the stuff we got. It's mainly green, which is fantastic because we haven't, we've eaten quite well in terms of sort of vegetables and stuff but it's been a lot of other rubbish as well so we're just gonna like cram ourselves with veg for the next couple of weeks and hopefully sort it all out so massive bag of oats this was two pounds in tesco's which i think is really good for two kilograms pretty good deal uh, we normally do little as you know but we had to go to tesco's to get something anyway so I thought we'd do the whole shop there um you've got all your nuts and fruits and stuff here eggs loads of greens and um, i bought this sourdough bread mix because obviously we like our sourdough you're just convinced that i won't do that because it takes like you've got to like knead it for like 40 minutes we don't have a bread maker um but i thought it was ADP, and if i buy it i can have it in the cupboard and when i've got a free bit of time i can make some nice bread we've just got a load of other veggies and fruit and stuff uh pak choy these things here we got these because i'm going to do some roasted vegetables and chicken for lunches for the week how good is it this was a pound and i feel like that's like more onion than you get if you buy onion on their own and it's already chopped and my fingers won't smell of onion so being a bit lazy got that i've got some almond milk for our overnight oats and just a load of meat and chicken and good things so i'm going to put that away now then i think we're going to get into pajamas get into bed and edit up a load of videos instagram photos reply to all the comments um from you guys for our travel vlogs which we've absolutely loved doing as you know so i'm just trying to get you in focus I, some of you may have noticed recently that I used to hold the camera more than I do now. I genuinely struggle holding this up because it's so big. My arms aren't that long. Huh, I can do it. If I hold it against a wall, but then it's out of focus if I put it too far back. So sorry if I don't hold the camera as much as I used to. I still try and get in uh, when George is holding it. But you're a bit stronger than me, aren't you, dear? Only a little bit. I'm literally, look, you can see me now. I'm like, holding it and I'm like struggling to lift it up. That's why we need a wider angle lens. We do. So then I'll be able to just hold it like. And hold it like this close to our yeah. face and it'll still see everything. You comfy? I am comfy. New vlog's about to go live. Ooh. I can't find why have got any glasses. I thought we'd run out of glasses. Do you have any glasses? Nope. We have one glass. So it's not quite cruise food, but dinner's ready. So it's like the soy chicken I do. Soy sauce, a um, bit of honey, chicken, loads of veg, but it's kind of watered down. Um, sesame seeds, garlic, chilli. Excited, I haven't had this in a while. I like this dinner. We're gonna go eat this. Thanks for watching. This is the last of the holiday videos and we are probably gonna do like a roundup video as well to show you guys some of the best bits and our favorite parts of the holiday. Happy to be home as in to get back to it and get going with everything else we're doing and everything with our event and everything else we've got planned in the next couple of months, which is really exciting, but obviously very sad to be leaving the cabin and to be back home. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and you've just come from uh, sort of seeing our holiday videos. And we'll be back soon with another video. I'm not sure what it is yet, but it'll be good, I'm sure. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.